He would tell me all the time, when you're playing Little League, what were you thinking about when you went up to home plate? I said, just wanted to hit the ball and run. He goes, why don't you try that tonight? Don't think about all that other stuff. Don't, don't think about where your shoulder is or your stride or any of that. Just go up there, see the ball, and hit the ball. Well, what that does, really, it's real simple, but what it does is it gets you back to, all right, I'm just going to get on the back. And it's a great way to look at it it's because you have to be right. It doesn't mean you might swing it a change up in the dirt, but you just don't want to miss the heater. And then once you start hitting the fastball, you can work off of that to everything else. And at this level, it gets really difficult because the pitchers are so good. You're talking about the best in the world. These guys, every night, they're out there. And they see the video and they understand where you're at. And then, so they're trying to do the same thing, kind of keep you in between. So you find yourself, and, and sometimes it lasts a couple of days, sometimes it lasts half a season. It's back and forth. You just can't get locked in and stay there. Um, so, you know, to me, I, I think there's a lot of different things to it, but the easiest way is to eventually get to a point where you're right on something, and typically it's the fastball. So Scott mentioned some of those things. He mentioned this idea of guessing and guessing wrong. You got me thinking, are you always guessing what that picture's going to be like? No, not always, but I, I think that you're, you're basically... Look, it's an educated guess. If you do your homework and you study and you're watching the you know what their tendencies are, you know what counts are, where the game is at. Um, you're basically looking for a certain pitch or you're looking at a certain area. Um, for me, I always, I was always on the pitch. The area didn't help me so much. So in other words, let's say I get into a tool count and I look and this guy is throwing a fastball 89% of the time. Well, I mean... I'm going to swing like I'm getting a heater, and if he throws me a change up, I'll, I'll be 2-1. Yeah. But if he throws me the fastball, whether it's in or out, I feel like I can handle it, and I'm going to hit it hard somewhere to give myself my best chance. Sometimes, like tonight, he has targets going. His change up is his best pick. I might take an F out. so invested 